Number one in the country. Number only Volume Four just dropped. You know what I'm number saying? Number one in the country. Fuck number that. Number one. We Dang number one shit. in the country number right one. now on iTunes. You know what I'm saying? How, how you feel about it, man? Feeling great. We ain't never had shit, man. We ain't never had shit. We ain't never been number we one. We was in never anything. double one for anything. I can't lie. Yeah, that's the most I ever accomplished in my goddamn life. We ain't never been number one in anything. Shit. Yeah. So look, what would you tell to somebody who's never heard the project? Listen to it. Why, listen and why, to why it. they should listen to it? It's so many different styles of music. If you walk away from that project Yo, saying you ain't even found, you ain't found look at this. one song you like. Yo! Oh, come here. Y'all charging people for pictures and shit. Yeah, they are charging. But if you, if, you, if you walk away from that project saying that you didn't find at least one song you like, you fucking lying. Because there's a bunch of different styles of music on there. You got to fall another in love thing, with at least one song. Another thing, before you listen to the album, always keep an open mind because it's different. It's very versatile. Super versatile. One minute you'll hear some acoustic shit, next minute you'll hear a, a whole nigga screaming. You did. You know what I'm saying? It's just different types of styles. And that's just what be making people just wake up and just really listen, open their ears, not just their eyes. You know what I mean? Dang, dang, you already know what time you it is, what I'm Long little job. Hey, and Moon coming out soon, my dog coming out with Moon. Oh yeah, Moon so, coming out soon, you did know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. M.O. to the world blow, you know what I'm saying? You dig? In this video, watch as we gather feedback for Sauce. By XXX Tentacion. Honestly, I can't. I fuck to the fuck to the heavy. I like the whole beat and just everything about it. The lyrics is straight and go hard. We go hard. Nice. <laughs> I see you got the extra. Yeah, you know? I just got it today too. I cop today. Downtown cop. What, what made you grab it? Um, his birthday just passed. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. So We're like, out here drinking the Henny too. <laughs> <laughs> What's like your favorite song or project? Um, Moonlight. Okay. Moonlight would be my favorite. I like the arms around. A oh, little no. pump. A little okay. pump. But now, now I'm going high. Very trendy, very flavor of the day, if you could say, in the music industry, because they like to do repetitive stuff. Uh, personally, the production is amazing, but to me, the creativity wasn't there. You know, that's my opinion. So if it like came on like a playlist or something, would you let that play or would you skip that? Uh, I'll definitely just skip that. Are you a fan of any of XXX and Yeah, music? most definitely. Like his old stuff, I really enjoyed like. When he was really coming up and doing his own sound, when he found his own sound and really embraced that before he got signed and did all that fancy stuff, but it's like, right now, that's what I like. I think it's really repetitive industry has it on lock or something, you know? That show was fire, honestly. Yeah, X slaps whenever, whenever, you know, uh, he's a musical genius to me, you know, he's really inspired my life, so rest in peace X, his birthday was yesterday, so happy late birthday, yeah, yeah I fuck with his music all of it, so. <laughs> What's your favorite, like, X song or project? Hold on, Oki Sad, or like, uh, Jocelyn Flores, that's one time. Okay. I mean, yeah, like, um, Jocelyn Forrest, like, it's crazy, and I love that song, you know, the beast fire to it, too, so, that was my favorite. You could tell somebody who's never heard X's music why they should listen to it, what would you tell them? I would say it would change your life, um, put some good feeling in your heart, you know, some people really don't have nice hearts, so, get some fucking love in your heart, and listen to some X. Yeah, that's just unique, though, uh, like... If you're into like, like every genre, he does every genre. So check him out. Yeah. I fucks with it. I got the sauce now. <laughs> I'm at a sauce all night. What, what's the hey boss, you got the sauce? He got the sauce. It's good. <laughs> uh, one thing is the melody. Another thing is the beat, it's real smooth, kind of jazzy-like, but it, it gets you moving. See how I started dancing and shit, you feel me? Are you a fan of any of his uh, XXX Tentacion's other music? To be honest, not really. It's not really my genre I, I kind of set out to listen to, 
but I am very open-minded when it comes to music because I produce music as well. Um, so, you know, ain't no discrimination. It's just my personal preference. Yeah. To be honest, I can't understand it because I'm high. But, but the, the beat by itself is cool. And the melody that is he's speaking in, which is also is good too. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know what he's saying, but like, as long as you got a, a rhythm to, to the music or the beat, as long as it's flowing with it, anything can sound good. good. Ask Lil Uzi. The, the vibe of the music is, seems like everybody having a good time and shit. Everybody like him and shit. That's what that's what's in nowadays. I feel like I was like it, it was a vibe. It was a bob. You could you could dance to it. I was like that's cool. They could have elevated his um, his vocals a little bit because I'm a rapper. And my name is Nye Baby. Uh, you feel me? And um, as a rapper and an artist, uh, they always need to amp up the vocals so you could hear exactly what they're saying. Because like like he was saying, there was a lot of party fun stuff in it. And people that are on that hype, they would want to hear that. Even the people that just like the beat, they need to be able to hear that. But other than that, it's cool. I like how you was talking about you pulling up with the two bitches and shit. Yeah, I listened to the lyrics. Don't think I wasn't listening. So yeah, it's a bop, it's a vibe. But if he would have put some more real shit in it too and talk about talked about maybe some issues, it probably would have been cool too. But it to each its own, and it's a vibe to me. Now look. There are a lot of programs. I turn down most things, but I love this bit right now. I love this program, Is My Shit Tight? And that's what you gotta watch. Three programs, Jimmy Kimmel, Howard Stern, and Is My Shit Tight?